Hi there, my name is Anna and welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's art video I am showing you two more of my Inktober drawings. I managed to film two more since my last video. Um, yeah, and here they are. This one is a little owl and I can't remember what the next drawing is, but we will see that shortly. <laughs> anyway, um, I managed to do 28 uh, drawings for Inktober this year. And I'm pretty pleased with myself uh, for managing to do as much, but I had to give up a few days ago because, um, you know, work and I still had other things going on as well. And um, now it's Saturday, the 30th of October, and I guess I could have done some more drawings today, but I was busy doing some cleaning as uh, per usual on Saturdays. And I guess I've just run out of motivation a little bit. Um, I think I'm a bit tired of black and white drawings. I mean, I did um, some some colored washes in my drawings as well this past month, um, but I feel like doing something entirely in color again. <laughs> and I think I'm going to continue my colored pencil drawing of, um, of a crocodile soon. I started that before October and I'm looking forward to getting back to that again. Um, yeah, but I don't know if I'll manage to do that this weekend, so. I don't know if I have the energy to do more drawing right now. I think I need a little break, possibly. Yeah, um, it can be a little bit tiring to just be doing the same thing all the time with the black and white and the ink. It was a lot of fun, obviously, uh, otherwise I wouldn't have done it. And this year I worked entirely in my sketchbook. The past few years um, I've usually kind of switched it up a little bit and done some uh, some proper drawings on, on a finished piece of paper and not just in my sketchbook but um, I, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible this year and last year and the year before it was a little bit easier for me because I had a very uh, narrowed down theme for, uh, for the monthly challenge. The first year I was doing, um, well two years ago I was doing botanical paintings and I was mostly doing doing them from um, an old book of bo botanical drawings. I was using that as reference point and that was fairly easy because you know I, I just had to choose a drawing from there and go from there. I didn't have to do a lot of thinking and last year I, um, I just drew animals which was also narrowed down fairly much and I, I like drawing animals so that was pretty easy um, yeah and this year I just wanted to go with uh, kind of autumn -y themed things animals that were kind of good autumn or something to do with Halloween or witches so you can see the Siamese cat there on the left hand side that could be a witch's cat um, yeah so that's the way I narrowed it down this year but I definitely think the more references you have chosen and you're ready to go and you don't have to make any more decisions, the easier it is, especially if you're very busy and don't have a lot of time to do the actual drawing. And I can't understand how people go with the official prompt list and then make up something creative to go with the prompt. Honestly, I could just, I could just not do that. Um, you know, if, if you don't have a lot of time and energy, it's the easiest to just go with something you actually feel like drawing. So I'll just scroll through some reference photos and look at what I like and then just more or less copy that. That's the easiest way to do it when, when you don't have a lot of time. Um, yeah, for this drawing, for this cute little owl, um, I think it's the second owl drawing I did this month. Um, I am using my dip pen. I forgot to use it for the first few drawings and I've been using it for uh, for a lot of the more recent drawings this month and um, I really enjoy working with a dip pen. Here I'm also using my paintbrush with thin down ink to do some shading as well. I think that's a very good combination. I was using fine liners mostly in the earlier drawings and um, that's fine and you can change the sizes of the nibs. I mean you can use different fine liners for whatever um, thick or thinness of the nib you want but with the dip pen I find you can just get a variation of, of strokes depending on how much pressure you're using and yeah I really enjoyed using that so that's my cute little owl oh yeah I did paint in some blue eyes on that Siamese cat as well so you can see it's not all entirely black and white <laughs> sometimes I had to put a little bit of color in Oh yeah, and uh, here I was just doing a portrait. Um, I think at this point I was just thinking I have to 
just draw what I feel like. <laughs> I mean, you can say it's a witch. Maybe she was. She had a very uh, cross look on the original reference photo, and I could have added some magical elements, um, and I could have just said, "Okay, she's a witch," but I think she turned out to be just a portrait, <laughs> um, and that's fine. I enjoyed doing this, and it's not that easy to do a portrait with a dip pen. It's easier with a <laughs> with normal graphite definitely to to get shading done and like that but I enjoyed it in any case and I do like to do some portrait drawing in between just to practice because it's not necessarily one of the easiest things to do and I sketched her off uh, I sketched her out off camera because I didn't want to bore you to tears and um, yeah, now I'm just doing some outlines and trying to do a little bit of shading with um, the dip pen. And for some more shading, I'm using my paintbrush. And you can see there in the corner, my little egg cartons that I use to put my ink in. They're very dirty at this point. <laughs> Sorry about my head being in the way there. With this paper it's not terribly easy for me to blend the ink because of course the ink dries very quickly and this paper is inclined to soak the uh, color whatever it be now ink or watercolor kind of soak it up so once you've lifted your paintbrush off and got some more water to, to kind of blend things out you can't really move the paint very much anymore so that was a little bit difficult but still worked out In any case I hope you enjoyed my drawings here and I will be back to you soon with um, a little sketchbook tour of my Inktober drawings for this year and uh, maybe some from last year as well depending on how long I want the video to be <laughs> but yeah I hope you enjoyed it and remember to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you did take care